Hi, I'm Keith Mark with the Nightly News, and Ted and I are off celebrating Christmas with our friends and family. But tonight, we're going to share with you one of Ted and mine's favorite Nightly News episodes. Welcome to the Friday free-for-all edition of the Nightly News. Ted, how are you doing on this fine Friday during the fall hunting season? I'm doing so good, it's kind of crazy. I kind of play some uh, elk bugling, rutting music every day, but I got to tell you, I had the greatest tour of my life with the, the, the killer rhythm and blues gods of Greg Smith and Jason Heartless on the Detroit Muscle Tour, which by the way, since it's Free For All Friday, the Ted Nugent Detroit Muscle Record, a lot of people are saying it's my best ever, certainly killer songs. It's now available on vinyl at tednugent.com. And if I may, I've also just found out just this minute that these hats are now available at tednugent.com. They literally just came in and it says, I will not come ply. When you tell me to do something stupid and immoral and that violates the Constitution and the Ten Commandments and the Golden Rule, there's a battle cry across this great country, Keith, and it looks like this. I will not comply. And that's available at tednugent.com. So uh, get the ultimate gift for people who are raising hell like we're supposed to be. So, Ted, we got a couple emails in this week that I want to, a um, couple questions for Friday. Um, number one, so when you're driving down the road in your uh, Bronco or other vehicle, what other music does Ted Nugent listen to? You know, I still celebrate that middle finger on fire of uh, Little Richard. I mean, just put on Long Tall Sally or uh, any of the classics by Chuck Berry or Bo Diddley, James Brown, Wilson Pickett, Stax Volt. I met the incredible Steve Cropper in Memphis on this tour this year during the Detroit Muscle Tour. And that was the guy that wrote Knock on Wood, uh, Soul Man, um, Midnight Hour. Steve Cropper wrote Midnight Hour. So these are the classics that I still love to listen to. I love to listen to some of the uh, new stuff by uh, the Foo Fighters, but I'm waiting for the guitar solo crescendo and it never comes. So I still like to listen to ZZ Top. I love to listen to James Brown live at the Apollo. But let me optimize why my music is always fresh and vibrant. Because when I'm not, every day I get in my man cave cuckoo's nest and I grab a Gibson Birdland, plug it into some amplifiers and experiment with sounds and noises and textures and vocalizations. Because my music is so raw and uninhibited, dare I say ferocious and irreverent and sexy, is because I escape from the music. So I do not intentionally listen to much. Now, when I'm driving my Hellcat, I like to listen to that Mopar horsepower. When I'm driving <laughs> my big Broncos, I like to listen to that Roush Yates horsepower. But when I do turn on like uh, Ozzy's Boneyard, thank God almighty, they play the Fred Bear song. And when the Fred Bear song comes on, all my vehicles go faster and I get goosebumps. They play my songs and I love the uh, classics by Aerosmith and Montrose and Sammy Hagar and Van Halen. I like all those grinding high energy, even Judas Priest, which people call heavy metal, but Judas Priest's best stuff is rhythm and blues oriented, grinding, funky stuff. So that's the kind of stuff I listen to. But most of the time, in order to cleanse my soul, I get my Matthews bow and head for the swamp like I did this morning for four hours and that peace and quiet and nature's healing powers it, it fortifies me to fight the treachery of this culture war turned spiritual war equally so by the time I spend in the great spirit of the wild outdoors, it cleans out my ears and it cleans out my spirit. So when I pick up the guitar, it's almost like the horny Ted Nugent at 11 years old with his first loud amplifier. It's as fresh and raw and primal as anything. So silence begets grinding rock and roll music. All right. One more here from a young fella named Ronnie. He's 13. He lives in the state of Oklahoma Great and state. he wants to be a guitar player, musician. What advice do you have for Ronnie uh, to become a guitar playing musician like Ted Nugent? Well, number one, you got to be clean and sober. Now, I know there's a lot of not clean and sober guitar players out that are very moving and very talented and very gifted. But I think in my experience, 
having jammed with everybody from Brian May to Eddie Van Halen to Stevie Ray Vaughan to Billy Gibbons and Chuck Berry and Bo Diddley, the clean and sober moments are better enhanced to absorb the musical horizons, which are endless. So being clean and sober, you're optimizing respect for God's gifts of stimuli and sensuality. And then you need to study Chuck Berry and Bo Diddley and Little Richard to get that up at the edge. But good, not good. If you were a good bass player, you couldn't be in my band. You have to be a son of a monster. You have to be an absolute animal. My guitar playing is a martial arts. You have to live it. You'll never be a great archer unless you shoot all the time and make sure that your spirit is one with God's gifts to create the defined path of your arrow slash life. When you play the guitar, don't have too many minds. Let it be stream of conscious. Let the spirit guide your hands and you'll stumble for a long time. And that's very discouraging. Don't get discouraged. Keep playing and find oneness with the guitar neck, the strings, the position of your hands, the fluidity of your finger movement. Tiger Woods didn't just pursue good golfing. He approaches it like, like a martial arts. Michael Jordan approached basketball like a martial art. Um, Parnelli Jones approached Baja racing like a martial art. I know, I know they did. So my advice, especially for guitar playing, but it also applies to welding, teaching, parenting, farming, being law and order, Approach it with all your mind, body, spirit, heart, and soul, and focus like an animal on that musical moments while you're pursuing guitar sounds, noises, melodies, it, uh, rhythms. And if you do it that way, you'll be very, very happy. Because if you look in my eyes, I'm very, very happy. That's awesome, Ted. Well, tomorrow... There's been a big announcement in the outdoor world involving Ted Nugent, involving Spirit of the Wild, involving where you're going to be and what you're up to. So if you come back tomorrow, we're going to have a huge announcement from Ted Nugent on the weekend edition of The Nightly Nuge, where there's absolutely no fake news. Mm -hmm.